Hey everyone, Austin here again with another Let's Play video. Today, uh, it's gonna be Turbo Outrun for the FM Towns Marty. A uh, pretty clunky version of Turbo Outrun, to be honest with you. I mean, it's playable, it's kind of moderately fun. Uh, I guess moderately fun should be taken loosely. Um, let's just say it's not as bad as the uh, Japanese Mega Drive version, but it's no arcade Turbo Outrun. It's very sluggish. Your car literally takes up like a third of the entire racetrack despite your opponent cars not doing the same. And so it, it's really hard to avoid uh, opponent cars in this game. You guys will see exactly what, what I mean once we get a track or two into the game. But uh, yeah, FM Town's Marty version of this game. Uh, I have a feeling this is probably one of those games that runs considerably better on an actual FM Town's computer that has uh, you know, beefier specs, but uh, on the stock FM Towns Marty, unfortunately, uh, it just can't really seem to keep up. Let's see if... Okay, so the other car can go to easy. What I might recommend doing, if you've, if you've never played this game before, is putting other car on easy. Uh, we might try that, actually. Time adjust, hard, hardest. I like to play on default settings, typically, so we're going to leave it on default. Uh, and look at that, if you had a mouse or a stick, you could use those, which is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I have neither. And competition, I'm not really sure what this is, but uh, let's not worry about it. Um, Select yeah, looks like you can sample all the sound effects in the game, which is kind of cool, but... Uh, and then you've got the, the music, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, there's some uh, pretty interesting remixes in this game, some some really bad remixes, but there's also some pretty good ones in here too. So if you're a fan of uh, the arcade Turbo Outrun, you might enjoy this one just for the, the remix soundtrack. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, now the FM Towns Marty controller uh, is basically a two button controller like an NES, and then it has a select and run button, just like a PC Engine or a start select button on an NES controller. Uh, it also has a third button on it as a shoulder key, but it doesn't really ever do anything in these games. So um, so in Turbo Outrun, you basically have to hold down A, uh, which is on the far right, like an NES controller, to gas. You press B to brake. But then this also has a turbo function, which is uh, pretty important in, the, in this game. And you have to press the run button to activate the turbo function. And because it's really hard to access without taking your hand off the brake or the gas, um, I basically have three of my fingers just hovering over each of those buttons together, kind of like an arcade button layout. I feel that's the best way to play this game. And I'm going to go ahead and just start off with a boost by pressing uh, the run button. And uh, let's just see how far we can get. Just like my other Marty Let's Play videos, guys, I really make no guarantees as to the sort of progress I make in these games. Uh, I'm not terribly great at a lot of these Marty games. I'm not terribly familiar with a lot of them. Um, but I think that's also what's going to make this Let's Play series a little more interesting than my, my usual ones. Is I'm, I'm not a master of these games like I am a lot of the other Let's Plays I do here. Um, but uh, again, like I said, I make no guarantees on how far I actually get into this game. So we just passed a checkpoint. Um, and what's kind of weird about this version of OutRun is that it doesn't fade slowly into um, other other like level themes. It just it cuts out the black really harshly and then just pops back on. You notice you've got you'll have a different sky, different uh, background objects, and so forth. Now we got a cop car chasing me, which is actually really annoying in this game. The cop cars they don't pull you over; they um, they just slam into you like assholes, basically, and. Uh, so the cop cars are basically like your your normal uh, street traffic, but even worse. They actually intentionally just slam into you. Uh, you do have an opponent as well, and I believe your opponent can do the same. Uh, although the cop cars will occasionally slam into your opponents. It's just a really, it's not a, I don't, I don't remember how it is in the arcade game. It's been a little while since I played the arcade game. Um, but... It's a really cumbersome mechanic and a really annoying mechanic in this game where the cop cars come out and he still hasn't gone away. And he just, all he does is troll you basically. You can't focus on the racing and it's just totally frustrating. It makes this game a lot less fun than it probably could be, even with its gimpy nature. Like, ooh, man, look at that frame rate. That, that dipped quite a bit. Um, the FM Towns Marty definitely can't seem to keep up with this game. 
Uh, it's a little bit better than, say, Galaxy Force 2 in that this version is actually almost full screen. There are borders on the left and right sides of the screen, um, but it does take up a considerably greater amount of screen space than the Marty version of Galaxy Force 2 does. Now, granted, I think the Marty version of Galaxy Force 2 is a hell of a lot more playable, and thus probably more enjoyable, but it is really nice actually being able to see this game and not having borders on the tops and bottoms as well. But man, that cop car mechanic, not a cool mechanic if you ask me. And I'm pretty sure in the arcade game, if the mechanic is there, it's not so annoying. Um, you've got so much more turbo to work with in the arcade version as well. You've got this little turbo button and you could sort of like uh, tap it a little bit. I don't think you necessarily press it once and then it just uses up like three quarters of your turbo meter like it does in this game. I don't think it works like that in the arcade version. Uh, so this version of Turbo Outrun is very, it's very clunky, it's very cumbersome. Um, you know, when I first played this game, I was just like, man, this version is crap. But like, the more I played it, the more I kind of got used to it and was like, okay, you know, I'm kind of having some fun with it, but it's still really hard to recommend this version of Turbo Outrun. Um, it, it's a novelty for sure. It definitely needed some polish. Um... And uh, the street traffic that you're going to see. Look, there's a cop car already. Jesus Christ, man. Come on. Um, and it's like the cop cars just come out of nowhere, too. I guess kind of like real life. <laughs> you know, like you're cruising down the highway, and then bam, before you know it, like a cop's right behind you. And you're like, where the hell did you come from? Um, <laughs> maybe that's what they were going for this game. I don't know. Um... So, uh, actually, the backing tune right here is actually a pretty decent remix of uh, one of the original Turbo Outrun tracks. But did you notice that uh, checkpoint screen change? It went completely from night to day. There was no, like, subtle um, change in brightness like you'd have in the original Outrun or anything like that. It was just very harsh. And um, so you can definitely see where, like, this version of the game lacks a lot of polish that other versions of Outrun had. Which is a major shame, to be honest with you. Uh, it definitely seems like it was a, a rushed conversion in some ways. Bam, there it goes again. Black screen. And then pretty much instant change of scenery. Pretty jarring. I don't know if it's because uh, the game's on CD and it's using CD audio. So basically, when it's, a game's using CD audio, it can't really access the disc for, like, reading data and so forth. So I don't know if that's... Uh, Without stopping the music, I mean. So I'm really not sure how it handles, like, the data load. It probably just loads everything into, into memory right away. And, um... But see, I, that doesn't... It's not really an excuse for, like, a harsh transition. Because the transitions are happening. They're just happening very harshly. So, like... I guess it's not really an excuse. It's just a lack of polish, I think. Which is a shame. And cop cars in the desert, seriously, you never see cops in the desert. They're like, screw that, I'm not going to the desert. There's nobody out there. Although in uh, Sega Land, apparently everybody likes to drive in the desert. And I'm overheated. Unfortunately, you've got a, uh, a red meter that it's basically says overheat uh, on your turbo meter in the bottom center portion of the screen. And once uh, the turbo is in the overheat range, you cannot use your turbo. So we're two tracks down, or two sections of the course down, and as you notice, every at the end of each section, you can actually sort of like pick a power-up upgrade. And I'm gonna go with my special turbo this time. I don't really know what it does, but... Pretty basic upgrades if you ask me. I'm, I'm you know, high grip tire. Obviously it's gonna be, your tires have better grip, so you can turn tighter. High power engine. It should be pretty self-explanatory, although when I selected it, I didn't really notice a difference in my power. So... Nice little boost there, I guess. Where the hell did the cop come from? God, man. So, I, I really dislike that mechanic. And then not only is, like, the, the actual cop itself annoying, but the sound is annoying. You hear the freaking siren, man. It's like, this isn't Road Rash, right? 
And this track is really tight too. It's extremely easy to just fly right off the track and you can't really see what you're doing because of that sand. Um, some really, really poor design choices in this, this version of Turbo Outrun. Now I'm sure a lot of these mechanics are in the arcade version, but that version is so polished you don't, you don't see them as like downfalls basically. They don't get, like the sand doesn't get in the way of like <laughs> you actually turning, you know? And uh, it's just, oh, this version of Turbo Outrun is just so frustrating. Your brakes are extremely powerful in this version too. You literally have to like baby tap them. Uh, if you hold down for more than <laughs> a fraction of a second, you, your car pretty much just stops dead in its tracks, which could be good. It's nice having brakes that actually work in a game like this, but uh, it definitely took some time for me to get used to having to literally like baby tap my brakes. And look at all this roadside traffic too, like, and it's so hard to actually avoid it. It's so hard to actually avoid it because your car is so large. It's very difficult to get past track. Whoa, what the hell just happened there? All right, we're probably gonna actually get a game over here. Okay, that made absolutely no freaking sense. The road sign was pointing right, and it turned left. I hope you guys saw that. That was just some total garbage. All right, so we'll go ahead and continue. I don't know if it actually starts you off at like the beginning of the section, but it basically puts you on the track, times you down again, and then uh, just sends you on your way, basically. Unfortunately, these tracks aren't terribly memorable, so it's really hard to tell actually where you are in the track because everything just kind of looks the same. And look at this. I can't... I was trying to get around that guy, but... Yeah, I, I think... I think if you put the, uh, the traffic option to easy, I think it's less cars. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to have to try that sometime because I think that would actually make the game more enjoyable. Because this isn't even a challenge. This is just stupid. This isn't like a healthy challenge right here, where it's like, oh, I'm messing up as a player. No, it's just there's not enough room to get around these guys, and the hitboxes are so crappy that, like, you'll get caught on, like, this, a single pixel of the car. And, and then the cop cars come out right afterwards. It's like the cop cars are always around. It's just absolutely infuriating. It's not, it's not very, it's not really fun at all, to be honest with you. I really don't recommend this version of Turbo Outrun. It's, ugh. You know, like, I was having a soft spot for it for a little while, but then, like, the farther I get into the game, I realize, like, it's just an effort in futility, basically. It's just frustrating. It's not fun. Like, I, I, I like a good challenge. Um, I don't like a good quote-unquote challenge due to really poor design and polish. So we get all three power-ups now. Let's just kind of see what, what happens with this. Man, she's a whore. She's just like bouncing between like your car and the other guy's car. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she got out of my car in the last track and walked over to the other dude's car. Like, damn, like... Look, the cop is just right away, and then I have an opponent, which basically adds to the traffic as well. Oh, this version of Turbo Outrun is just so clunky, man. It's... so bad. And your turning's not even really working that well, either. Like, I was literally holding left and just flew right off the track. Okay, actually, it looks like there is a bit of a subtle change in the, uh, the scenery. Look at this! What the hell is happening? Oh my god! This is awful, man. Absolutely awful. How did they even, like decide this was okay to be released. 
I mean, surely this was play-tested, right? I mean, did anybody actually play this and say they were having fun back in the day? Or did they enjoy just getting sandwiched by, like, computer AI on the track? Because that sounds like fun, right? You know? Tons of fun. Yeah. This is one I want to want to spend my hard-earned money on. I wonder if these same guys did the, uh, the port of the Genesis version, or I mean Mega Drive version. I'm gonna have to look into that. It was CRI, and I think CRI did ports for the Mega Drive back in the day. I think they might have done, like, the, uh... Did they do the Afterburner 2 port for Mega Drive? That was actually pretty solid, all things considered. I don't know, I'm gonna have to look into it. Oh! And you know what, guys? Okay, one more continue. I really don't want to play this game anymore. I just, I'm really not having any fun with this Let's Play at all. This this game is just so bad, so poorly implemented. And look, Jesus Christ, man! Like I'm holding. Your turning is useless in this game too. You literally have to brake, otherwise you fly off the course. Look at that. I was holding left. Like it, it's making it look like I'm not touching the controller at all, but I am. I'm holding the controller in fully, yet I just fly off the course instantly, like that. No subtlety. There's no skill. You basically just have to break around every single corner in this game, which isn't OutRun. You know, OutRun... Uh, you would veer to the, the edges of the tracks, basically, but it wouldn't be so harsh, like uh, how this game is implementing it. And of course, like, there's already like five cars on the road, and yet we really need the cop car to be there, right? To make a sixth. Absolutely horrendous. And the turbo would have worked a hell of a lot better in this game if you could just like tap it a little bit. Really, I just ran out of time, and I just got a game over. Alright guys, well that's the absolutely awful Turbo Outrun for the FM Town Smarty. You know, in the beginning of this video, I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, gonna enjoy this, and then... Very quickly I realized, no... No... I am curious though as to how far I got, so let's see how far it takes us. Man, that is choppy. So for anybody that hasn't been watching this in 60 frames a second, I highly recommend you check it out in 60 frames a second, just so you can see how sluggish the game is. Wow, we were really close to the end. We were like... Or did we actually beat the game? I'm really confused by that. Did we time out and get a game over, or did we actually beat it? The game is so unpolished, I have no idea. Wow. Okay, you know... Uh, let's put other car in easy, I'm just really curious now. I don't even want to know what it's like to try manual in this game. I mean, it just it plays so poorly as is. See, if you look at that manual transmission, though, you can see like a little red button next to it, and that's what the arcade version was like. There was actually a, a stick shift with a turbo button on it, which was pretty cool. See, one thing they should have done in this version of the game is they should have eliminated your opponent completely because it's, it's totally unnecessary. Like, I understand the arcade version probably had it, but, you know, if you can't get the racing part down, like, and have that be fun, then you need to start making some concessions, basically. Like, the turbo functionality can be fine, I suppose. But if you can't even race on the damn tracks because there's so many cars and, and your opponent's getting in your way and then the cop cars get in the way. They really should have like toned toned it down a little bit. 
because there it's literally to the point where like there's no skill involved there's so much clutter on the track you can't even get around the clutter so so far it seems like there are less cars but we still got some objects in the play field so it seems a little more manageable so far but we'll see what happens as we get farther into the game There's our friendly cop. God, that sound effect is so annoying. I already hear that enough outside my door, thank you. Like, do I need to hear it over and over in a video game? Ugh. See, so far this seems a little more manageable. Like, I'm actually getting around my opponents now. But the turns are still super sharp. You basically have to tap the brake key whenever you go into a turn, which is really annoying. Super annoying. Like, you literally have to brake before you even go into the turn, and in OutRun, that's not a mechanic that really ever existed. I mean, yeah, you would get pushed out to the size of the track, uh, on really sharp turns it would happen a lot faster, but it wouldn't happen in, like, a frame, like it does, um... Like it does in this version of the game. Like, you'd have a few moments to, like, you know, veer out to the edge of the track and then, you know, pump on your brakes a little bit. But this game, it's just like, you can't even make the turns normally in this game. Like, you have to break around almost every single turn, it seems like, after a certain point. Like, the first minute or two I was on that, uh, you know, that section, like, I was fine. I, was, I wasn't breaking at all on the turns, but then it was just like, you know, every turn's gonna be a sharp turn now. So you literally have to break immediately. Yeah, the chick literally got out of my car and went into his because uh, he won, apparently. It's like, dude, if you have to race somebody, you know, to get her approval, I, I don't, I don't think she's worth it. I think uh, you've probably got your priorities backwards. Yeah, that night to day uh, transition cycle is really jarring. Just like, oh, it's daytime all of a sudden. Did we go through a, a warp portal or something? It is an arcade video game, so it wouldn't surprise me. Man, look at all these cars. So, like, my reprieve apparently was only for the first first course. But now there's, like, a ton of AI cars on the, on the course again. It's still not as bad as it was towards the end of the game on our last run. So we'll... We'll kind of see if it sticks like this, or if, if they add more. I see four right now. And a cop car, that's five. Great. Six. We've got my guy on the track now. Or my opponent. Absolutely horrible. So this is technically the easy mode, mind you. <laughs> I can barely see where I'm going because of these tumbleweeds or whatever. up from behind me, just all smash right into me, like... 
This is like Northern Virginia drivers, but in Turbo Outrun. Seriously, man, people in my area cannot drive worth a damn, and, uh... This game is replicating that pretty, pretty well. <sighs> this game is not any fun. I was actually having fun on that first level. I was like... Oh, so if you turn down the uh, car AI, that's actually playable. But then on the second level, it's just like, oh, we're just going to throw six cars on the track at once. And so. <laughs> and then if you slow down, they all come up from behind you. Instead of driving around you, they sm they all smash into you at once. Absolutely horrendous, man. So every time your opponent passes you, he goes, Take a hike, pal! Like, okay, do, do you have anything else you can say? I mean... Oh yeah, and this, uh, this music is terrible, too. They actually use burping samples in this track. It's really, really awful. I don't know whose idea with that, that was. I don't know who did the remixes for this soundtrack. Some of the two- some of the remix tunes are actually pretty awesome, but others are just like, uh, <laughs> Why? Why? You know what's kind of funny about this version of the game is like for a game called Turbo Outrun, there's not a whole lot of actual turbo in this game. For one, you've got no areas where you can really use your turbos, because then you're flying off the track. Like, I'm gonna use it right here. Oh, no, I gotta put the brakes on already. And then after you use your turbo, you've gotta wait for it to cool back down before you can use it again. So now it's gonna be like a good, you know, 15, 20 seconds before I can use it again. Look at that. The turns are so sharp, I have to put my brakes on at all times. This is horrible. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. I've probably said that like 50 times now in this Let's Play. Okay, so for anybody out there thinking about buying an FM Towns Marty, don't have this on your list of games to get just because, you know. <laughs> don't have this be on your list of games. As, as you use as reasoning to get an FM Towns Marty. This is not a game that you want on your FM Towns Marty. Maybe it's more tolerable on, on an FM Towns computer. I don't know. If anybody has played the actual FM Towns computer version, please let me know. I'm curious. But man, this is garbage. This is just terrible. And it's sad because I was actually starting to have fun on that first level when, when I could actually drive and race. Because that's what OutRun's about, you know? It's about the driving. It's about actually progressing through your tracks and... ...having fun! <laughs> but after that first track, it was just like... ...I'm not having fun anymore. It's I can't focus on the racing aspect, the driving aspect. Quickly, drive off now! She's a gold digger! You're a sucker, dude. I think there's still less cars on the track than there were, uh, when we first got here. But it's definitely still more than I think there really should be. It wouldn't be so bad if, uh, all the sprites were a little bit smaller. I mean, your sprite for your main Ferrari is just absolutely massive in this game. It literally almost takes up two full lanes of traffic. Whereas in uh, the original Outrun, your car took up just one lane, not two. <laughs> you weren't driving an oversized, oversized load car, if you know what I mean. Like, 
You know, that's what the lanes are for, you know? Any vehicle on the road is supposed to fit within a lane. But in this game, no. That logic just kind of goes out the window. Logic? What's that? We're the FM Talents Marty version of Turbo Outrun. We don't need no goddamn logic. We're gonna operate within our own fantasy limits or whatever the hell you, you want to call it. I don't know. All these vehicles on the track. And they're all like pallet swaps with one another, too. You're like, hey, didn't I just pass you like 30 times? I know I'm being a little overly hard on the game because a lot of some of these faults is just it was really standard operating procedure for games at the time, but it is kind of jarring. Like, there's a gray one, there's a dark purple one, there's another gray one, there's another dark purple one. It's really muted colors, you know? It's like they couldn't use bright red like uh, your car is, or like a bright blue. How about a yellow? A yellow car would be nice to look at once every now and then. Oh look, there's a dark green one. You know, I stress the, the dark terminology. And that's it. Okay. I guess we finished. Yay. <laughs> I feel so accomplished now. Congratulate. Okay, so we didn't actually beat it last time. We I think we timed out literally like right before the goal. <laughs> Dude, you don't want her anyway. My guy's a total sucker. You're going to be better off, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. Turbo Outrun CRI staff. These are people we can make fun of now. <laughs> These are the asshats that made this version of this game and released it seemingly without much testing. <sighs> CRI, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> I know they actually did pretty solid ports back in the day for certain consoles. Like, some of their Mega Drive ports were pretty solid. Like, I'm pretty sure they did the Afterburner 2 on, uh, Genesis. And it was actually really playable, really fast. Um, but man, this version of FM, of Turbo Outrun on the FM Towns Marty, shh. Do not play this game if you can avoid it. Okay. Well... Guys, I think that pretty much does it for me. That is Turbo Outrun on the FM Towns Marty. What an interesting game. Not in a good way. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be back with some more FM Towns Marty uh, Let's Plays. Some good ones, some bad ones, like this. And uh, it's going to be a good variety of stuff we're going to be playing here. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, for everybody new to my channel, uh, feel free to subscribe. I've got a lot of Let's Plays on this channel and a lot more on the way. For everybody else, already subbed. Thanks as usual for the support. I uh, hope you guys continue to enjoy these videos. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys soon. And until then, uh, take it easy.